Is the mobile turkey coop that I made last year out of an old swing set as the frame and we could put a couple boards on the sides there for some shelter and some shade and pallets are in the inside as their little perch and their ladder and they all seem to be getting along really really well I was kind of worried because the two are just a slightly bigger than the other ones but they don't seem to matter like chickens would. But back to the shelter. So I have a removable door that I just half fastened with some zip ties. So when they become big enough to free range, I will just snip off the zip ties and take off the door. And here I've put a handle on. I usually attach it with a bungee cord at the bottom here because it doesn't like to stay shut because of the ground very well. Um, actually it stays fine shut, or it stays shut fine, except for when the dogs want to try to get in. That's why I have a bungee cord. But let's go inside. And it opens out, so I have a little stick here that I just put in the corner there and it just kind of holds it open. But let's go inside. So here's how I fastened it. Some zip ties there in the back because there's a space there that I couldn't put the screws into. But it's all very secure. The kids have sat up there. <laughs> I think swing sets are great frames because we have our other coop. It's over there that's made out of a swing set as well. But these two right here, right here, those are the new ones. I said I think I got a Tom I think that one's the Tom but they all seem they don't like me in here <laughs> scared but they get along great it makes life a lot easier we can have all of them out in one spot but here's my mobile turkey coop I don't really move it but we could because it's framed all along the bottom there But this is a great thing for them now. Probably not so much when they get a little older because there's eight of them. They won't all fit. By the time they get older, they'll, though, they'll be able to free range. But there's the new turkey chicks and our original turkey chicks for a total of eight turkeys. I can't wait. I love turkeys. I love when they get older and they have such personalities and they like to play. I created a mobile fenced coop area for all of the 57 meat birds. I wanted to go the, the fence route because I can make it bigger and I can move it, but I couldn't do the electric fence one because it was sold for $100. So I got some snow fence and some poles and it seems to work out just great. All I have to do is disconnect it from here, and I can push this all the way down and step over it. Glacier doesn't mind it. Like I've said before, he loves his birds. He really does. Saya, on the other hand, he's over in the corner, way over there. He's having a small issue with the birds. He wants to play with them. I'm assuming, I don't think he wants to hurt them, but I think he just wants to be with them because they're loud just like he is. Um, so he keeps trying to paw at the fence and trying to dig under the fence. He's already tried to dig right here a little bit before I got him. So I'm hoping once the newness of the chicks wear off, he'll leave them alone. It's kind of what he did last year. It's what he's done with the turkeys and the other chicks. He's left them alone now. 
But I'm hoping, crossing all my fingers and toes, that he will leave these birds alone because this is a lot more uh, fragile, I guess, than the other coops we have. If he doesn't leave them alone, I don't know what else to do. But anyway, all the birds are outside. They're loving the grass. These birds, I think, are loving being in the sun. All the turkeys are doing amazing this afternoon. They're all laying together. Until the dog comes. <laughs> and then these chicks are doing amazing too. They're getting bigger and bigger every day. But I like the time, sorry, where I can get all my birds outside. It's supposed to possibly rain mixed with snow tonight into tomorrow, but tomorrow's supposed to be 50. So I think they'll be fine. I'll just put a little heat lamp out here and put a tarp over them so that way they have some more shelter. But other than that, they're outside for good. All right, everybody, change of plans, so hold your horses. Kevin came home and had a way better idea on how to do the mobile chicken coop or just a an outdoor area for the meat birds. Check it out. Yes, I come up with the ideas and I try them and Kevin 100% of the time makes them better. So we're using the garden because we're not quite ready for it to be tilled yet. Um, and we fenced off the bigger fence here because as you can see it's a pig wire so the chickens will be able to get right through it. So we fenced it off to the end here that we can pull up the end stake here and get in that way. But we added the tarp for a bunch of shade and now the chickens have a ton more room to hang out in and they can help till up our garden as well. I put them back inside of their brooders tonight because it's supposed to get down to 28 and have a rain mixed with snow tonight. So they're back inside. At least these birds are outside. But for now, the chickens and turkeys are inside the shed nice and warm and we'll put them back out tomorrow and then you have Kevin and Ellen hanging out with the new chicks they stay outside at night now they go up into their scoop up here um, where they stay nice and warm during the night but the new things today is that the turkeys get to go outside during the day and the meat birds now get to go outside during the day. Thank you, Kevin, for your genius ideas as usual. Oh, and another perk. The gate closes to the garden, so this dog's not going to bother them anymore.